This is Brett Waltzmath of Starwatch Media here at the Voyeur Nightclub in West Hollywood, California for the Diamonds Not Fur Red Carpet Gala event in support of Fur Free West Hollywood campaign. Brett, Starwatch Media, pleasure to speak with you both. You are both heavily involved in the free, uh, Fur Free West Hollywood yes. uh, campaign. Can you please discuss the campaign with us? Ellen, would you like to start? Well, the campaign was a targeted campaign for six weeks, beginning the end of January. And in that, and that began with, it was a two-part campaign. One were rallies to raise awareness for the fur, you know, anti-fur issue, as, and this ban on um, fur in West Hollywood. And secondly, to help John, um, council member John D'Amico um, get elected, because without um, the council member, we wouldn't have a proposed ban. You know, this was very brave on his part to take this on as part of his campaign. And... Um, and, well, and for I me, I, you. thank you, and for me, I just really uh, thought that this was an opportunity to really broaden my coalition of supporters as I was trying to uh, capture this seat here in the city of West Hollywood. And, um, and, the, and the corollary to that, or the, the, the gift with purchase, is that this is really such an amazing idea, and it's really a brilliant idea, and I believe in it fully, and I think that really the way we move the world forward is to think, new about the way, think newly about the way we live in the world, and this is one of those ways that I think we can change our world in this small way here in West Hollywood and export this idea to other cities around Los Angeles County, perhaps the state, maybe even around the world. You both are bringing awareness to the cause right now, trying to make West Hollywood the first fur free city in the nation. What are, now that awareness is being brought to the issue, what are the next steps that need to be taken for this campaign to go to the next step and actually become more than campaign, but actually be voted in? Well, uh, this will be presented at the September 19th City Council meeting here in West Hollywood. Um, and uh, it, the ordinance will be read, and uh, we, the city council members, there's five of us, will have a chance to vote on it. After that, uh, we hope it will pass, and after that, we turned over to Ellen, and, and uh, we together will help move this uh, to other places, based on the reaction, both good and bad, from uh, this ordinance here in West Hollywood. Ellen, do you believe that this city is ready to be for free? Oh, I absolutely believe this will pass, and the reason I say that is West Hollywood has traditionally been very, you know, pro-animal welfare, beginning with 1989 and, uh, and their declaration um, that West Hollywood would be a cruelty-free zone, their historic ban on de of cat decline, and the ban on the sale of do live animals in pet shops. So this is just a continuation of uh, the humane measures that West Hollywood has already been taking over the last decade. Was mean to you both to see the Diamonds Not For organization and see the amount of support that Katie's been able to receive for it? Well, well of course it's amazing. I mean, I, I'm a small part, a tiny little cog in this larger wheel, and I'm very much honored to be here, absolutely. And you, Ellen? I, well, you know, it does not surprise me. One, I mean, Katie is a tremendous animal advocate, as is Betty White. But there are a lot of, there's a lot of support for animal issues out there in the, in the celebrity world. So it wasn't surprising to me. Thank you so much both and really enjoyed the evening and best of luck on the campaign. Appreciate it. Thank you both.